guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking through five different products from The Ordinary that I think are great options for normal to oily skin. I just recently uploaded a video like this for normal to dry skin and promised that I would do an oily skin version soon. So here we are, that's what we're going to do. This will also be great if you have acne prone skin because a lot of these products and ingredients help to treat that as well. So if you want some ordinary recommendations for your normal to oily to potentially acne prone skin, you're in the right spot. Let's jump right into it. You guys, I cannot stop singing that song from The Office. It goes, no, 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 Do you know what I'm talking about? Clearly I have a great singing voice. I can't stop singing it in my head. And that's actually my favorite thing to do when Eli asks me to do something that I don't want to do. I pull that song up on YouTube and just play it. It makes him laugh every time. <laughs> okay, let's start off with the very first product, which is the AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. This is a 10 minute exfoliating facial. It has one fluid ounce of product in it and it retails for $7.20. Okay, so in the first video, I read through all the descriptions for each product and I wanna do that again here. I feel like that's the easiest way for me to explain what the product is. They have really great descriptions on The Ordinary's website. So they say, with 30% alpha hydroxy acids, including glycolic, lactic, tartaric, and citric, and 2% beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid cross polymer, vitamin B5, black carrot, and Tasmanian pepperberry. They say that alpha hydroxy acid Acids, which are AHAs, exfoliate the skin's topmost surface for a brighter and more even appearance. Beta hydroxy acids, or BHAs, also exfoliate the skin with an extended function to help to clear pore congestion. This combined 32% AHA BHA solution offers deeper exfoliation to help to fight visible blemishes for improved skin radiance. This formula also improves the appearance of skin texture and reduces the look of fine lines with continued use. They also say that this has Tasmanian pepperberry in it, which is in their lactic acid formulation, and that ingredient helps to reduce signs of irritation and sensitivity often associated with acid use. So alpha hydroxy acids can benefit many skin types, not just oily skin. They help to improve texture, help to improve our skin tone and fade dark dark spots, they can help with large visible pores, they can help to improve signs of aging, so many different benefits associated with alpha hydroxy acids. But the reason that I wanted to include this particular acid in the oily skin video is because of the addition of BHA or salicylic acid. And what salicylic acid actually does is help to prevent our pores from getting clogged. So if you do suffer from clogged pores, blackheads, whiteheads, salicylic acid is a great ingredient to include in your skincare routine. So while this product can have many amazing benefits, 30% AHA with 2% salicylic acid on top of it is no joke. That is a very high concentration. Definitely likelihood for irritation in using this. Be careful, especially if you've never used an acid before. If that's the case, I would recommend starting off with an acid at a lower concentration, like the Ordinary's 10% lactic acid solution. So I actually have a video comparing the lactic acid solution to this. I'll leave that in my description box below if you haven't seen that yet, and hopefully that kind of helps you to figure out which one might be best for you, but very high concentration of this solution. While it is going to be something that's effective and potent and can really benefit your skin, I just had to say that. Please be careful. Don't use anything like this on broken skin, skin barrier damage. If you already have a lot of sensitivity or irritation going on, skip it. It's not required, but if not, you may really enjoy it. And I talk more in depth in that video on how I would recommend using this solution, but what I would say, just to abbreviate, is use it after cleansing the skin and use it in the morning because you don't wanna use it at the same time of day as your retinoid. So whether you're using retinol or tretinoin, it's best to use an acid like this at a different time of day to lower the potential for irritation. Okay, while we are talking about acids, let's just talk about the next one that I have here, which is the azelaic acid suspension. So this says it's a multifunctional brightening formula. It has one fluid ounce of product in it and it retails for $7.90. The Ordinary says, found in grains, azelaic acid is produced naturally by yeast that lives on the normal skin. It brightens skin tone while visibly improving the evenness of skin texture and reducing the look of blemishes. It's a multifunctional support ingredient for all skin types and also acts as an effective antioxidant. This formula offers a very high concentration at 10% of high purity azelaic acid in a lightweight cream gel system. And azelaic acid definitely has a lot of similar benefits to all the other acids that we just talked about. There's a lot of overlap there between all of them, but certain types of acids definitely stand out as to what key benefits they really offer. And in the case of azelaic acid, I would say it's key benefits, aside from helping to lighten dark spots, 
are for those that are really acne prone because it's antibacterial and it also has anti-inflammatory properties. It's also one that's supposed to be safer and a little bit gentler on the skin if you have very irritated skin. So in a book that I was reading written by a dermatologist, they did explain that acetic acid is actually one of the only acne fighting ingredients that you can use while you're pregnant. So keep that in mind. Of course, please check with any doctor or derm if you are pregnant and don't take what I say over that. But that is where I read that piece of information. So it's not like I pulled that out of thin air, but one that's supposed to be gentler and safer and is often recommended by dermatologists if they've tried other acne medications before and they're too harsh and too irritating on the skin tends to be a safer alternative. And I know that the formulation of this is not everybody's favorite. It's also not my personal favorite. I just don't love any of the ordinary suspensions. It's just a unique type of product that I don't love in my skincare routine, but if you have oily skin, I actually think the suspension formulation in this case is really nice because it's very lightweight. It dries down very quickly, almost to a powder-like feel. It's not greasy, it's not tacky, sticky, nothing about it would make your skin look even oilier or even greasier. It's not gonna worsen that problem for you. I actually find that it has kind of a mattifying effect, which can be really nice if you're oily. And I've also seen comments from people that say that this product in particular causes them to break out, which obviously is not ideal with any product that we're using, especially if we're trying to use it to help to improve acne. Whenever I see comments like that, I dig into ingredient labels to see if I can find any ingredients that are known to be comedogenic, especially in high concentrations. There was not anything on the label that concerned me in that sense. Nothing that had a high comedogenicity rating, even though that ranking scale is kind of flawed. If I see ingredients like that, multiple ingredients like that, and high concentrations up high on the label, that's something that I personally would avoid as somebody who is acne prone, but there's nothing on here that falls into that department. So that's good. If you are breaking out and using this, it may just be a temporary purge phase where breakouts are brought to the surface. And that often happens when you introduce any new acne medication or ingredient into your skincare routine. I've been told that by so many derms over the years, it gets worse before it gets better, be prepared. They were always right, it always did. I always broke out more, but it should be temporary and something that ends up improving over time. Unlike that other acid, you can leave this on the skin, but other than that, you would use it in the same order. So after cleansing and before moisturizer. The third product that I have to recommend for you guys that have oily acne prone skin is their organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. So this says it's a daily support formula for all skin types. It has one fluid ounce of product in it and what do you retail for? them? $9.80. They say that this formulation uses 100% pure rosehip seed oil that is both cold pressed and organic. Rosehip seed oil is rich in linoleic and linolenic, I thought that was the same word at first, and pro-vitamin A, all of which degrade when the oil extraction process involves heat. While cold pressed extraction is complex, it preserves all of the quality of all of the quality. Okay. <laughs> I'm losing it, of this important oil, which has been shown to reduce signs of photo aging and many other skin conditions. So while I love the fact that this has a really nice source of fatty acids that will soften, smooth, and replenish the skin, that's definitely not my favorite part of this oil and not why I included it in this video. Why I included it is because of the presence of vitamin A. Vitamin A is such an amazing ingredient if you have oily acne prone skin, and it's an amazing ingredient for a lot of other skin types and concerns as well. If you're wondering why I've never mentioned vitamin A before, I have, but it's in the form of vitamin A derivatives like tretinoin, retinol, retinaldehyde, and adapalene. All of those things are derivatives of vitamin A, and I actually have a video talking all about each one of those ingredients and how they compare and contrast. <sighs> I can't breathe. I will link that below if you guys are interested and want to know more there. But they are all derivatives of vitamin A, and you guys know, you know, if you keep up with my videos, that tretinoin is my favorite thing of all time. And that's because vitamin A is an antioxidant with many different benefits, like helping to prevent and treat acne, helping to improve signs of aging, improve texture, brighten dark spots. It's just, so if your skin doesn't respond well to your retinoid with daily use, what you could do is alternate use with something like this rosehip seed oil, which also has the fatty acids to help to replenish and nourish the skin and the oil component, which will help to soften and smooth any areas that you have flakiness or patchiness or anything like that, which is a common side effect in using any kind of a retinoid. Do you need to use this in combination with your retinoid? Definitely not. At the end of the day, retinoids are more researched and more proven, but 
I know that a lot of people love this, so I thought it was worth including because of that addition of vitamin A. And the formulation of this, while yes, is an oil, of course, is one that feels a little bit lighter weight and less greasy than other facial oils that I've tried. So another reason why I feel like you may like it if you have oily skin. Ow, that hurt. That's rosehip oil. The fourth product that I have, which is a cult fan favorite, is the niacinamide and zinc serum. So it has 10% niacinamide, 1% zinc. It says it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. One fluid ounce of product and retails for $5.90. There are things in this description I will not be able to pronounce. So, The Ordinary says that niacinamide is indicated to reduce the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion. Good, I can pronounce those. A high 10% concentration of this vitamin is supported in the formula by zinc salt of pyrolidone? Pyrolidone? Carboxylic acid? We're just going to call it zinc to balance visible aspects of sebum activity. If you're a frequent viewer of my channel, you know all about niacinamide at this point. You want me to shut up about niacinamide because I can't stop talking about it. It's such an amazing ingredient. Yes, it does help to regulate sebum production. It can help with texture. It can help with fine lines. It can help to calm and soothe the skin, decrease redness. What's going on? Like, why does it do so many things? It's amazing. I love niacinamide. And a 10% concentration is a great concentration of that ingredient. The reason that this is even better for those of you that have oily, acne-prone skin than just a separate niacinamide-only serum is the addition of 1% zinc. And that's actually because zinc has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial properties to it. So when you combine something like that with an ingredient that helps to regulate sebum, like niacinamide, you have a really nice combination of ingredients for oily, acne-prone skin. Is something like this going to be the most effective acne treatment out there? Definitely not. Something like tretinoin, for example, is a much more effective way to treat acne. But you could use something like this in combination with that and hopefully see even better results, as well as some other benefits too. And the formulation of this for me is pretty similar to most ordinary products. It's good, I like it, I don't have any major complaints, but there's nothing incredibly outstanding about it. So for the price point, for the ingredients that you're getting, I think it's a really nice serum. One that definitely has a place in an oily skincare routine. The fifth and final product that I have to recommend is Marine Hyaluronic. So this says it's an ultra lightweight hydration support with marine derived, derived, no, marine derived vegan water reservoirs. Marine, de marine derived vegan water reservoirs. Marine, de say that 10 times fast, I dare you. I dare you, you can't. This also has one fluid ounce of product and retails for $6.80. The Ordinary says that Marine Hyaluronics brings together lightweight marine derived, I said it right there, water reservoirs that attract and hold water like hyaluronic acid, but are lighter than hyaluronic acid in texture and feel. This formula contains exopolysaccharides, I think I said that right, <laughs> from skin friendly marine bacteria, Hawaiian red algae, glycoproteins from Antarctic marine sources, why is this making me laugh so much? <laughs> so many interesting words here. Microfiltered blue-green algae and several health-supporting amino acids. All marine derivatives and marine hyaluronics are sourced sustainably. The total concentration of active ingredients in this formula is 23%. So the one thing that's different about this serum from all the other products that we've talked about so far is that there aren't really any ingredients in here that are specifically for oily skin. They're pretty universal ingredients, amino acids, hydrators, replenishing ingredients, all things that are great for most skin types. What is great about this for oily skin is the lightweight formulation. So if you are looking for a hydration serum that is very lightweight, maybe you have tried the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid Serum before and that just is a little bit too heavy feeling for you, then this is definitely definitely the one to look into because dang is this lightweight. I actually love this formula. I think it feels so good aside from being lightweight. It's just so silky smooth and blends into the skin so well and I really really enjoy using this. So if you're on the lookout for a hydrating serum that doesn't look greasy or oily on the skin and feels almost like you're wearing nothing then definitely look into Marine Hyaluronics. It's really nice as far as formulation and has some great ingredients as well. And that is everything for this video. We have officially made it to the end. Those are five products from The Ordinary that I think you may really enjoy if you have normal to oily skin and or acne prone skin. I really hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. And it would mean so much to me if you sent my channel to a friend. All of those things really help to support me and my channel and support me in sitting here for 
six hours like I have been filming videos for you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What's your skin type? What products out of these are you using and loving? Are you going to try something after watching this video? If so, as always, I will have everything linked in my description box below in order of mention so it's easy for you guys to find. Let me know if you guys want me to do a part two of this video. So five more products or four products, doesn't have to be five, from the ordinary for normal to oily skin. I would be happy to do that. If there's anything else you would like to see from me next, leave that request in the comments as well. Otherwise, my next video will be up in a few days. So until then, I hope you have a great few days.